Hello everyone, my name is Max Edward. Today I will be presenting you my entry for the March Madness Code Jam. My entry is a cat in the hat candy dish. Let's begin with explaining why I chose Dr. Seuss and Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss's birthday is March 2nd. He was born on March 2nd, 1904, and this year he would have been 117 years old. I chose the Cat in the Hat's hat because Cat in the Hat is one of Dr. Seuss's most memorable characters and is featured in a handful of his books. Going over the software I used, I went with Autodesk Fusion 360. The reason I decided to create my model in Fusion 360 was because the software is free to use and I am well versed within Fusion 360. Before I show you the final model, let me go over exactly what I made and how I designed it. I decided to create the Cat in the Hat's hat with a twist. Using the form workspace within Fusion 360, I started with the brim of the hat, then worked my way up to the crown of the hat. Along the way, making freeform bends that would best match the cat's hat. Once I was pleased with the overall shape, next was to cut up the model. I started with removing the inner section where candy would be held and the spout where the candy would come out of. Then I split the upper part of the hat into five sections for the stripe pattern. From there, I added a few other details such as black seams between each section and a rim around the brim to catch the candy. I then decided to add a few other parts to finish off the model. I created some jelly beans and positioned those within the dish section of the hat. Finally, I modeled out a lit candle to signify Dr. Seuss's birthday. I made it, the jelly beans and candle separate from the main hat model. With that, all that was left was to render and animate the finished model. So without further ado, please enjoy this animation and accompanying renders of the Cat in the Hat candy dish. Thank you. 